Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Watch the video until the end. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel to support us. Roger Penrose, in a sense, asserts that the universe has a purpose and does not exist by chance. The brilliant physicist Sir Roger Penrose is convinced that string theory is incorrect and that dark matter does not exist. Penrose has developed his personal approach to the fundamental question of physics, which is what the true structure of the universe is, and he is one of the few scientists of our time to find consistent answers to the question of a deeper meaning or purpose behind the apparent randomness of cosmic events. While string theory strives to formulate a unified theory of all forces, the mystery of dark matter and dark energy remains unresolved. In this context of tension, the exceptional scientist Roger Penrose thinks well beyond conventional boundaries and shows us the possibility of a universe full of meaning and mystery. Penrose criticizes string theory, stating that its main problem is the lack of connection with empirical observations. I may be taking too strong a stance, but in my opinion, it is largely driven by mathematics, says Penrose. As far as I'm concerned, much of my work is driven by mathematics, but the problem with string theory is that it should explain how the world works, and if the number of spatial dimensions is wrong, I cannot take it seriously. String theory postulates that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not point-like particles, but one-dimensional strings that vibrate at different frequencies, creating the variety of observed elementary particles. Originally, this theory united the four fundamental forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, strong and weak nuclear force, in a coherent manner and in a broader context. It combines astrophysics with particle physics, but the formulas only work by assuming many more than the known four dimensions. Roger Penrose is one of the main opponents of the theory, while others, like the American Michio Kaku, consider it the only coherent field theory. Penrose is not as concerned by the many dimensions. For the British, string theory is unacceptable despite its mathematical sophistication because it cannot be empirically tested. He argues that to be considered valid, a scientific theory must make testable predictions and be confirmed by observations or experiments. However, string theory has not yet provided testable predictions that can be verified with the means of current experimental physics. This leads to wondering whether string theory is actually a physical theory or rather a mathematical thought experiment. Penrose is equally critical of dark matter, a very significant variable in previous cosmological models. Dark matter was theorized by scientists to explain astronomical observations such as the rotation speed of galaxies and gravitational lensing effects, phenomena that did not match the amount of visible matter in the universe. In theory, dark matter is a form of matter that cannot be observed directly because it does not emit or reflect electromagnetic radiation but constitutes a significant percentage of the total mass of the universe. Penrose argues that the hypothesis of an invisible and undetectable substance, which should make up much of the universe, is more a provisional solution than a scientifically founded theory. Penrose favors alternative explanations based on modifying the theory of gravity, rather than speculating on the existence of an unknown form of matter. The views of the Nobel laureate thus represent a real challenge to conventional cosmology. His critique is not just a rejection of some theories, but also an invitation to a more rigorous scientific methodology and a more open discussion on the foundations of our understanding of the universe. Penrose emphasizes that science must always be open to new ideas and revisions, especially when confronted with the limits of our knowledge. In practical terms, the physicist states that we cannot base our worldview on assumptions. If scientists do not know something, they must admit it and return to the point where knowledge is supported by observations and concrete evidence. Modern astrophysics, according to Penrose, has built an entire worldview on the existence of a substance for which there is no concrete evidence. If one day string theory were to be recognized, the situation would be similar. Until we see these dimensions, we could not consider it a serious scientific theory in the eyes of Penrose. Sir Roger Penrose is a genius who is currently making sparks in the British physics star circuit. Every child knows the scientist, who has had his television programs on astrophysics, is the author of many famous books, and one of the great thinkers of the country. In addition to the Nobel Prize, his extraordinary achievements have earned the Britain elevation to peerage by Queen Elizabeth. Penrose was born in Colchester in 1931 and studied mathematics and physics. 
He is particularly known for his work on the theory of relativity and cosmology, especially for his research on black holes, in collaboration with Stephen Hawking. Penrose has developed important theorems on singularities within the framework of general relativity, radically changing our understanding of black holes and the origin of the universe. The concept of Penrose diagrams, named after him, is based on an innovative method that depicts the structure of the space-time continuum in the theory of general relativity. His work has also reached into the sciences of crystallography, leading to the theory of quasi-crystals. Penrose does not limit himself to mathematics and physics. He is a scientist who seeks to understand the universe in its entirety, including its metaphysical aspects. That's why he is not afraid to discuss topics like consciousness or the meaning of the universe. Penrose has actively collaborated with brain researchers to explore whether the universe is something created by our consciousness. His book, The Emperor's New Mind, links human consciousness to quantum processes in the brain, demonstrating the existence of these connections through practical research. Penrose is not just a scientist and thinker who easily blurs the boundaries between mathematics, physics, and philosophy. His ability to simplify complex ideas and make them accessible to a wider audience, as well as challenge established dogmas, makes him in the UK what Michio Kaku is in the United States. The universe is his purpose. Can you imagine the Pope, a man like Penrose, and a musician like Mozart sitting around a table discussing the purpose of the universe? What today seems like a rather abstract idea was quite normal in the past. All these disciplines were often practiced under the guise of great thinkers and scientists. Pythagoras was a talented mathematician and a brilliant musician. For him music, sound, and the universe belonged to the same world. And he would have liked the idea of strings vibrating and sounding. Ptolemy of Alexandria, the greatest religious scientist of his time, was at the same time a mathematician, astronomer, and biologist. Sir Roger Penrose appears today as one of the few polymaths who break down the boundaries of disciplines and connect concepts like consciousness with theories and religion. He is also interesting for his views on chance and determinism in modern cosmology. Both concepts seek to explain the existence and nature of the universe. The debate revolves around whether the universe was born from a series of random events, which would equate to chance, or whether it follows a specific purpose or a predetermined order which would be an expression of determinism. Roger Penrose rejects the idea of a universe without purpose in random. On the contrary, he sees in the complex structure of the universe and the finely tuned laws of physics evidence of a deeper order and, perhaps, an underlying purpose. The philosophical implications of Penrose's view are far-reaching. If the universe indeed follows a purpose or has a deeper order, it raises questions about the nature of such order and the origin of such a purpose. It might mean that the universe is constructed in such a way as to allow, and perhaps even favor, the emergence of life and consciousness. This perspective indeed suggests that our human existence is intentional for a reason, and that our role in the universe might be much more significant than just being here. In quantum mechanics, the observer of the universe is often considered equal to the creator of reality. It is often argued that the observer plays a crucial role in determining reality. Penrose's studies might demonstrate that consciousness and observation are not just passive processes, but active participants in the creation of reality. Penrose's view on the universe challenges conventional cosmology and provides consistent new approaches. Penrose is also responsible for the innovative cyclic universe theory in which he scientifically demonstrates that our Big Bang was the subsequent event of a previously extinct universe. Once the life cycle of our universe comes to an end, it collapses and a new Big Bang occurs. This theory could be confirmed by extremely old black holes recently discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope. In Penrose's idea of a cyclic universe, black holes are virtually the last thing remaining of an old universe and might even play a role in the birth of a new universe. The future of physics is at an exciting turning point. Theoretical physics could move in a completely new direction, going well beyond conventional explanatory approaches to how the universe functions. One of these directions might be loop quantum gravity, which attempts to describe gravity within the framework of quantum mechanics without resorting to additional dimensions or complex string configurations. Other approaches might focus on developing theories based on the holographic principle or the postulation of entirely new forms of matter and energy, 
different from the traditional notion of dark matter. As Penrose emphasizes, reproducible experiments and real observations must be fundamental to the future development of physics. Confirming or refuting theories through empirical data is a cornerstone of the scientific method. Roger Penrose has his own vision for the future of his field, emphasizing the importance of creativity and firmly believing that the future of physics lies in new ideas that transcend the boundaries of current understanding and offer insights into the nature of the universe. He has expressed support for greater consideration of the role of consciousness in physics and has suggested that quantum processes in the brain should be better explored to find connections with the universe and the probable determinism of its creation. If you love amazing videos, subscribe to this channel now. This invitation to curiosity and ongoing exploration is representative of how Penrose approaches not just physics, but the entire fabric of reality. His interdisciplinary approach, which connects physics, philosophy, and even neuroscience, aims for a deeper understanding of how consciousness and reality influence each other, a challenge that continues to inspire new generations of scientists and thinkers. Through his books, television appearances, and public lectures, Penrose has made science more accessible and fascinating for the general public. With his unique style of presenting complex concepts in an understandable way, he has helped demystify scientific topics that might otherwise seem inaccessible or esoteric. His influence extends well beyond the scientific community, touching the lives of those interested in the profound mystery of the universe and our place within it. Ultimately, Sir Roger Penrose is much more than a mathematician or a physicist. He is a true innovator who consistently challenges conventions and invites the world to rethink what we know about the universe. His contributions to science are not limited to his academic achievements, but extend to his ability to inspire questions and discoveries that push humanity to look beyond the horizon of current knowledge, shedding light on new possibilities and potential realities.